welcome back to my channel for those of you who are who are new here i miss lola cakes and before we go any further make sure you subscribe and you hit the bell and you, so you can get notifications when i upload videos every week oh and also go ahead and go ahead like this video and comment below let me know your feedback let me know what you want me to bring you guys on a weekly basis for my subscribers who have been here my new subscribers welcome back i'm bringing y'all some new content and i'm really excited about this video today um y'all know my energy just to be one thousand and i can just ramble anywho y'all anywho anywho you know i wanted to give y'all some here in the dmv area the weather is trash right now i ain't even gonna hold y'all it's been cold for the last couple of days um and gloomy today it actually rained so it's raining outside. So I'm giving y'all like a cute little look to go with my, how I feel right now with this weather. Um, anywho, today I have a treat for you girls. So I recently purchased my first Chanel bag and I'ma tell y'all how, where, how much, and of course I'ma show it to y'all girls. Like I wouldn't leave the tea out like that. So let me tell you okay get into it real quick one weekend um i had met one of my clients and i was at her house and she was just showing me all this stuff that she got at estate sales <clears throat> so for those of you who are new here and don't know i do interior designing on the side so i had a client and i was just like and i had another client i was like oh let me go to the estate sale to see what you know i can find from my clients because this is actually like really dope so my client miss j she was like let's go to estatesales.net she said let me know how your first estate sale go so a couple of weeks went by and something was like i ain't got nothing to do this weekend let me go to an estate sale baby when i tell you when i tell you i look at estatesale.net estate sales have very good things like since me looking up there, I've found like three vintage Cartier pieces. Some pieces you can bid for online, which is harder. I feel like it's easier to go in person as long as you show up when the doors open because, honey, the people be there for the designer items. Like this one estate sale that I went to, they had vintage Bottega, they had Valentino, they had everything, okay? emerald green tennis bracelet real what who if you love jewelry if you love jewelry you would spend all your coin at an estate sale okay and don't blame it on me because i'm telling you now <laughs> you can find some really good stuff at estate sales so let me tell y'all what i'm saying when i was looking online i wasn't even looking for the bag like it just popped up my phone dropped and I happened to go back and pick the phone up and it was on the Chanel bag. And I was like, wait, what? So it was too late because it was like 12, 1 a.m. when I seen the picture. So I couldn't call the number. So I called my friend and I said, Tiff, I said, I found the Chanel bag. It's online. I said, but I need to go see it in person. I said, you know, it starts at eight o'clock. I'll be at your house by 7 15 because it's like 30 30 40 minutes it was in northwest dc so i'm that dog tired dog dog tired the next morning okay because i was up dreaming half sleep about my chanel bag and i claimed it and i tweeted in november of 2020 i said in 2021 i'm buying my first chanel bag and maybe that's what i did okay i manifested my bag by tweeting didn't even know it but when i got there i was not the first person there um tiffany had to drag me out of bed because i didn't want to go but it was destined god sent me there for this bag and i believe it very wholeheartedly i get there i'm looking at everything i was like oh vintage bottega so the bottega bag was miss mark and they had it marked for like 400 so i was just like oh i'm gonna get this too you know but when the lady was like oh the price is mismarked i was like well how much is it she went way up i said no if bottega won't pop in right now that price would have not 
been that ex she would have paid no attention to it anywho i see the chanel bag baby she's gorgeous my friend tiffany said do you love it i said i do i do she said well if you want it honey i need you to claim it right now and tell the lady that you're gonna purchase it because other people are gonna come for this bag y'all let me introduce y'all so she came in this very vintage um that you know dust dust bag that's what we call them dust bag oh my lighting is so off um let me see is that that's better okay so she came in this dust bag this is like old school chanel with the cc right here um and y'all y'all i couldn't let her go and it is in pristine condition like if i bring it closer look at how good that leather looks and the hardware even on the strap and the hardware right here it's it's aging very well but you can also tell that the lady's mom who had this took very very care of it and this is actually a single flap uh chanel bag and I'm going to take the little paper out that came in it. It has the Chanel emblem right here. It has a zipper where it is a, um, a pocket right in here. And then it has another pocket right here in the front area. And even the inside, like even if you look like at the hardware on the inside like the leather on the inside like y'all when i seen her i couldn't let her go um i couldn't like she's the perfect length she's the perfect length she hits me right at my hip so she goes cross body she can't do the double um strap effect with the chain which i'm okay with um, but I'm normally either just wear her on the side or I wear her across. Y'all need to start checking estate sales for designer items. You can view everything that they're going to have at an estate sale before going. That way you know which ones you want to hit first to get what items. Okay, you have to be strategic. Okay, when I mean strategic and have a plan and put it together. Because I only was gonna go to two estate sales but i knew where she was at it was my first stop because she was my main priority now let's get into the price i paid 3500 for her um i want to say it was 35. it was around three i paid for her, um which isn't bad because she is it's calf skin lambskin leather so she is calfskin, lambskin leather, okay? And this bag is actually from 97. For this to be, this bag to be from 97, look at the side. Look at the back of that. Look at the front. Check the hardware. Baby, 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 baby. I wasn't leaving without her, okay? This is probably my favorite designer item i've purchased so far in 2020 and i'm so proud of her um i'm the type of person that i love vintage and i love a bag that people don't have and people you don't see the uniqueness of this bag is this as a triangle single flap chanel bag from 97 double pockets like <sighs> y'all one thing i can say if you do buy something from a um estate sale i do suggest you getting it authenticated so here in the dmv area if you're coming to visit um reds trading there is a location in georgetown and there's a location in bethesda maryland and they authenticate for you i want to say it's between 30 and 45 dollars roughly to get um something authenticated and they give you a certificate of authentication. So here's my certificate of authentication. And 
it basically says when I got her authenticated, which was on January the 25th, 2020, baby, okay? And it tells who the certified certificate holder is, which is Reg Trading. And the brand, of course, is Chanel. And the material is calfskin slash lambskin leather. It gives you a certificate link um, that you can actually get back to this certificate just in case you lose this copy. But I plan to laminate this baby and put her in a safe place. And it also puts the serial number on the bag. Now, <clears throat> I didn't know this when I purchased it, but I learned this. I pay very close attention when I take my stuff places. They did something, I'm trying to see, to where my serial number is in one of my pockets here. Um, Cause I had to bring her out. I don't know which pocket it is in, but they authenticated my baby, honey. And I just had to share that with y'all ladies. Like, we out here buying, you know, from consignment shops, but there's other places you can find by designer. And I'm going to tell you wholeheartedly, people do literally go to, to these estate sales. They buy the stuff from themselves or they're resellers. And they're basically reselling them to, you know, tradesy uh poshmark um they might even send it to the real real or you know fast file or something like that but her she's staying in my collection okay i might buy my second chanel bag this year i don't know but i just know that i'm very proud of the purchase that i did um and after talking to the owner of reg trading who you know she sees designer pieces every day um because you know that's just the line of work that they in, are in owning a consignment shop and she was like are you sure you don't want to sell this to me no honey i'm keeping her for my collection this is my first chanel like i gotta tell my girls how i got my first chanel bag like it's it's not every day that you hear that you went to an estate sale and you found a chanel bag like where they do that at i know i didn't know until that sparked my interest and i was just like I need to start going to to estate sales, you know, especially if you love you. That, I'm telling y'all that that diamond emerald tennis bracelet I saw, and it was only fifteen hundred. That's not bad. Um, and you got to think about, you know, how they used to make gold back in the day. They don't really make it the same anymore. So it is definitely worth it. And I I've seen Cartier. Um, I looked maybe a month ago, and there were two Cartier rings. Um, I actually placed the bid on them, but I did not win because somebody outbid me. But you can find some real authentic jewelry that is designer. And it's that vintage, vintage baby, okay? Vintage, vintage. You know, estate sales is when elders are moving, downsizing, whatever it might be. You can find Valentino suits, um, Chanel scarves. You can find so much good stuff. Even just not... Just not fashion. You know, if you want your home to be decked out and be cute, estate sales is your... My client, she has paintings that she might have paid 154 that are worth a couple of grand. And I'm just like, Miss J, teach me your ways, sis. Teach me. She taught me. I have not been back since I bought the Chanel bag because, baby, I was ready for this purchase, <laughs> I was just like, oh, if it's going to be like this every time, I got to, I got to pace myself, you know? Um, but no, if you guys are looking for some unique items, you know, estatesales.net, you know, I'll put it below, you know, look in your city. It goes by zip code. You can see what they have. The man told me he got so many calls when I was leaving out the house. The lady was like, I'm here to, um, oh, I'm just here to buy, see the Chanel bag and buy it. <laughs> Baby is gone. Cause it's mine <laughs> it's mine oh mine and i just love her but of course y'all know i had to come up here and i had to give y'all the tea on of course my first chanel bag i feel like it's every girl's dream to have a chanel like chanel is like one of my top favorite brands that i always just love and it's just so, so classic and they hold their value um, especially rare, very rare vintage Chanel pieces like baby. Okay, baby. 
I, my vocals ain't, you know, all the way there, but I'm going to give y'all a little tune. But, y'all, this is today's video. EstateSale.net. I'm telling y'all, y'all got to go check it out. If you love jewelry, you're going to find some... You might find a Cartier bracelet. Who knows? It was two bomb Cartier rings, and I should have placed a higher bid on them, but I didn't. I was going to keep one, but I was going to resell the other one because the other one was not my size. But, estate sales, y'all estate sales that's all i'm gonna say my baby came from an estate sale and she is the best designer piece that i have bought in 2020 and probably that i will buy in 2020 because after her i really didn't have anything that i wanted bag wise i haven't bought a bag since her she was my last bag that i had to show y'all that i bought since walking into 2021 um did i say 2020 before Oh, Lord, I'm in the wrong year. 2021, y'all. 2021. I'm, don't ask me. Don't take me back to 2020. I need to stay present, okay? But what I tell y'all, estatesale.net, yes, you need to go check it out because you might find you some gems, baby, okay? Whether it be for the house, whether it be, you know, a bag, or maybe whether it be apparel. Honey, you don't know. Go look. But until next time, again, y'all, Miss Lola Cakes here. Make sure y'all check me out on IG at M-I-S-S underscore Lola Cakes, you know. And come back next week. But before you go, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And you hit the bell to turn on notifications. So you know when I'm uploading a video. Oh, I think my vocals was good there. Bye, y'all. See y'all next week.